Let's go fossil collecting along the Jurassic coast. Follow me with some perfect little iron pyrite ammonite finds that I make. I go out on an extremely cold afternoon and in the morning of the same day, it had been snowing. You can see the recent landslides and mudslides and mudslips all along this area through to the east where we're heading. And here's a recent Microdorosaurus birchai ammonite that was found. And you can see the center of it with a little ammonite protruding out. The Mary Anning statue we head past as we go out collecting. So come with me and see the fossil finds I make in January along towards the 2008 slip I will take you. Well, I've got my trusty sieve today. Let's try doing a bit of sieving on the beach and see what we can find. Well, this place here has got such a lot of pyrite in it. Just uh, get all this pyrite up into the sieve. There's one as I'm scooping up the pyrite. There's one just sitting there. Don't even have to sieve it. You can just, just sieve the rest there. Have a go, see what's in there. Obviously quite a bit of glass from the old Victorian bottle dump. But sometimes when you're looking closely to the beach, they just come out anyway. While I'm looking on the beach in the concentrations of iron pyrite for the fool's gold ammonites, those perfectly little preserved fossil Promicrocerus is the name of the game when you're heading out along towards the 2008 slip. That species seems to be quite prevalent. But also, too, finding this lovely coin. Uh, that one, someone said, was probably Swedish. And comments in the section below, I hope some people make about the coin and tell me what it's all about. I was really pleased picking that up. The sea's coming in at quite a lick, too. So I had to be worried about the sea washing some of my finds away so I had to pick them up quite quick that afternoon and there's a lovely piece of pottery lovely colorful piece there's the fading light and here are some more crystals dog tooth bar calcite crystals emerging from the mudslide Well, have a look here. This particular specimen of beef calcite does look indeed a bit like a tooth. And lots of people present us with those specimens thinking they found teeth or horns from marine reptiles, but they are just fibrous calcium carbonate rocks on the beach. The old quarrymen named them thus. And here the waterfall continues to proceed with lots of water in its course coming down onto the beach which shows you just how wet it's been for a prolonged period lots of storms when in I say Lime Bay. When I metal patches on the beach I mean looking for the mineral iron pyrite but look at all that metal that's been gathered there in that place by the sea's action. The sea eroding away the beach area and on certain tides especially with easterly winds, the sea scours into the beach. What a gorgeous evening. We had snow here earlier today. It's spot the pyrite ammonite time. An ammonite there preserved in the fool's gold. Can you see it? Get my hand in and let's see how good that one is. Uh, it's only a piece. That's sad. I thought there was a whole one there. Gonna come out. Well let's show you a bit of preparation of the ammonites. There's another bit there actually I didn't notice off to the side. There you go. Ah oh, that's better. I dropped it. My hands are so cold. Let's let's show you me preparing that then as I've just found that one. Let's get a bit of the sharp metal. You can see there all that mud in the middle. I'm just gonna start using this to pin out the the middle coming out a little bit but not as much as I'd wanted it seems to be quite fused with pyrite that piece
I wonder what that is, that blue thing there. Can you see that in the mud? I'll wash it up. Well, the light is fading, but I'm still trying to look for some ammonites here. See what I can find, what I can spot. A lot of free beach down there with no looking, no one looking on the beach. Here's a bit of the lead. I'll get that off the beach. Don't want that around here. More of the lead tucked in underneath that rock over there. Let's get rid of that as well off the beach. What a beautiful evening here. Well, look at this old collection of bits and pieces I found today on the fossil walk out here along the Jurassic coast. The sea hasn't been that rough, but still from the winter storms as these bits and pieces all washing around in the beach area. The sea doing the work for you at low tide. Well, there is a fossil collecting code of conduct and that is in place along the Jurassic coast. You can see it online if you have a look online and look for West Dorset fossil collecting code of conduct. And also too, when you come to the Jurassic coast, look for these specimens just like me at low tide you really do find some real fun fossil finds, small but beautifully formed. And uh, the worst thing you can go near to is the dangerous cliffs. They're liable to fall suddenly and without warning. And I've been putting out quite a few warnings about the mud slips and someone has been in one of them recently and lost some boots. Here's a Duke of Edinburgh Award badge, a DOV badge, and here's some really small ammonites. Are these the smallest ammonites in the world? They probably aren't the smallest ammonites in the world. I certainly heard that Susie had found a really small ammonite, absolutely tiny, and that was mentioned to me. She likes the sieving videos I do along the Jurassic Coast. Here is a cat badge that I found, a military cat badge. So here's some chambers of an ammonite, a really large ammonite, probably from Areatites bucklandi, a really big Jurassic ancient marine sea creature and here's a small ammonite I've picked up by comparison. You can just see it shining away there in this fading light. But look at the size of the big chunk. That is church cliffs there in the background, looming large. I'm on my way home now. The tide is on its way in. I'm just going to show you a few real interesting little things before I head back into Lyme Regis. So have a look here on the beach. Well, here's the thing. It's really turned dark, but can you spot the pyro ammonite? It was there a minute ago. Did you spot it? Let's see if I can retrace where that went. Well I've re-found it. I've spotted it again. The sea had taken it. And luckily the sea gave it back up. There's always a stone face hiding out here on the beach in the dark. What a beautiful sunset as I head back into Lyme Regis. There is the statue of Mary Anning that I pass by every day when I head east along the Jurassic coast at low tide. Thanks very much for watching. Please leave your comments in the comment section below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and we'll make some new films soon.